हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज मोहम्मद सज्जाद एंड आई एम ए ट्रेनर एट ऑगमिन टेक एट ऑगमिन टेक वी स्पेशलाइज्ड इन प्रोवाइडिंग प्रोफेशनल ट्रेनिंग एंड सर्विसेज इन एच और एम डिजाइनिंग एंड मॉडलिंग फील्ड वी फोकस्ड ऑन एम्पावरिंग इंजीनियर्स विद द स्किल्स एंड नॉलेज दे नीड टू एक्सेल इन देयर कैरियर्स सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी एक्सप्लोरिंग the top hvac design principle that every mechanical engineer should know so where i will guide you step by step to make this concept easy to understand and practically to apply so let's start so here we'll see the top hvac design principles so in that the first one is the load calculation basic so the main purpose of load calculation in hvac is to calculate the exact heating or cooling needs of a space to maintain comfort and efficiently it ensure that the hvac system is neither undersized okay nor oversized for example for an office building in in a hot climate calculating the cooling load might consider occupant heat lighting equipment and solar gain through glass windows so the outcome determine the size of the ac unit okay now the second one is the air distribution design so the main purpose is to distribute condition air evenly across the space for comfort while minimizing noise and energy loss so the proper duct design ensure efficient air flow and prevent pressure imbalances for example in a movie theater when you see uh, generally the duct are designed Uh, using the equal friction method to achieve consistent air flow and the diffuser are placed above the sitting rows directing cool air downwards okay and a return air path near the floor prevent air stagnation stagnation so the result is a comfortable experience for viewers with no noticeable draft or warm spot now the third HVAC design principle is energy efficiency so the main purpose of energy efficiency is to reduce energy consumption lower operational cost and meet environmental sustainability goals for example for a hotel let's say a vrf system is chosen because rooms with higher occupancy example meeting room get more cooling while unoccupied room use minimal energy so the vrf system adjust refrigerant flow based on demand achieving high seasonal energy efficiency ratio okay so as a result a 30% reduction in electricity bill compared to the traditional split split ac okay so here we have to reduce the energy consumption now the fourth one is given here indoor air quality so the main purpose of indoor air is to ensure healthy indoor environment okay by removing pollutants and controlling humidity and maintaining proper ventilation for example in a ho hospital uh, operating room generally you have seen the hvac designer focuses on installing hepa filter to capture airborne bacteria even we have to maintain the positive pressure okay to prevent outdoor air from entering okay then we are using the uv light in duct to sterilize air so this ensure a sterile environment protecting patient and staff from infections next we have a system selection okay next design principle is the system selection so here generally uh, we have to choose an hvac system that matches the building usage climate and budget for optimum performance for example uh let's say uh, a shopping mall in a tropical climate required a chill water system because it handle large consistent cooling load effectively and it is cost efficient for a central plant to serve multiple zone so the chiller chill water system allows for scalable cooling ensuring comfort for shoppers even on peak days okay now the next is the psychometric so all of you know psychometric basically is used to understand the relationship between the temperature humidity and human comfort okay 
Next is given here equipment sizing and selection. So what is this? See here generally we have to optimize performance. The main purpose of equipment sizing and selection to optimize performance, efficiency and cost by matching equipment to actual needs. For example, oversizing an AHU is a, a, in a classroom might lead to high energy cost and uneven cooling while proper sizing ensure cons consistent airflow and efficiency. Now the next design principle is the codes and standard. The purpose is to ensure safety, compliance and performance consistency in design. Like for a commercial kitchen, generally we are using ASHRAE 62.1, ASHRAE ventilation standard 62.1 specifies the ventilation rate to remove smoke and maintain indoor air quality, ensuring compliance with health codes. Okay. Then finally, the maintenance and operability. So the purpose is to ensure the system is easy to maintain and operate efficiently throughout its life cycle. For example, providing access panel in ductwork for cleaning and scheduling filter replacement in, a, in an office building ensure indoor air quality and system longevity. So this is all about the top HVAC design principle that every mechanical engineer should know. Hope all of you enjoy the session. See you in next one.